this is DC Channel Guns. Like and subscribe. Thank you for watching. What up? This is DC Channel Guns coming back with you another video, people. I appreciate you tuning in. If you don't mind, please hit that subscribe button. Share this video on all your social media platforms, wherever you can share it. And give me a thumbs up if you like this video. So I appreciate y'all. So with that said, I'm in Walmart, people. Uh, Walmart is one of the uh, places that I go um, and look and see can I um, find some cheaper hunting ammo and stuff like that. And... Um, 80% of the time, I can get a better deal at Walmart than some of my major retailers and stuff like that. Um, so, mostly all they have is maybe some, you know, 22s and stuff like that, 12 gauge. A lot of your um, hunting um, ammunition and stuff like that. So, they got plenty of that. So, I tend to, you know, to come here and look for some um, ammo and stuff like that. Um, I think I'm going to start um, stacking up on that 350 Legend because it's cheaper here. I think I've seen it at Academies for like 15 bucks, But um, that 350 Legend is cheaper here. So I'm thinking it was like 12 bucks or something like that. I wanted to say it was. But, um, yeah, they buys it up here. Whoever's buying that 350 Legend is racking up. So, you know, you can get that 6.5 Creed more. I know a lot of people been buying that. Um, the last one pandemic we had... Um, you couldn't find no rifle ammunition, but they had 6.5 Creedmoor, and then a lot of people went out and bought the 6.5 Creedmoor rifle. So until my, you know, so that ammunition is well, started getting bought up. So you know, Walmart has. If you have one in your area and stuff like that, um, don't overlook it, people. You can really find some good deals and stuff like that when it comes to the uh, Walmart ammunition. And stuff now these 12 these 100 round packs by federal and stuff like that uh back in the day people these was like 18 bucks um you know 17 bucks 15 bucks people um now they what 37 about 40 bucks and stuff like that the price kind of fluctuating and everything because they've been kind of like going up and down um the last few years and stuff like that um, so, you know, keep an eye on that, check that out, people, but they got some, you know, decent prices on their hunting ammunition compared to some of the retailers. So you're saving, you know, you can save at least a three or four dollars, people, a, a box. So, you know, that's what I kind of do. I kind of snap pictures and stuff and then, you know, see what the other retailers got the price and stuff at. So that's what I be doing. So this is one of the hidden gems, people, one of the hidden gems. So... Uh, don't overlook Walmart. Now, when it comes to Walmart, you know, the section has changed and stuff. And, you know, they got a little eyes and ends and stuff here. You know what I'm saying? So don't, like, you know, they got the little stuff, where, you know, little things you can get for your, you know, clean your rifles and stuff like that. So they got a lot of these little things that you can always check out at Walmart. They got them ammo cans and stuff like that, you know. Uh, shooting range glasses and stuff. And these cans, these cans is not bad. You know, make sure you check the seal and stuff. Make sure they're in good shape. So that's the, that's a good thing. I got plenty of the ammo cans. And they go to the plastic ammo cans right there. And, you know, they got little eyes and ends. So always check out some of these things and stuff up here. Um, range muffs and stuff like that. Protect your hearing. And, you know, so they got some things, you know, that you can check out and stuff. Now, um, I got a video that's going to come up next. And then, you know, they got some cleaning products and stuff like that. But I got this video coming up next. And I want to read this article about Walmart and what happened in Massachusetts and everything. So we're going to get into it, people. So um, here we go. So I want to read this um, when it comes to Walmart. Now, Walmart had made plans to put its ammunition back on the shelf after pausing sales because of a new Massachusetts gun law. Now, I want you to listen to this article. Now, Walmart stopped selling ammunition at its stores in Massachusetts after a wide range of gun laws took effect earlier this month, but a company spokesman said bullets would soon return to shelves after an interview review was completed to ensure compliance with the statute. Now, in the move made 
as a coalition of the Second Amendment, activists were close to suspending the laws for two years. Now, to unilaterally put the firearm statute into effect, include new rules around tracking gun and ammunition sales that the credit organ are leaving smaller retail puzzled. Now, a spokesman for Walmart said the law took effect October the second. Stores stopped selling ammunition out of the abundance of caution to ensure uh, we were in compliance. Now. Listen to this. Our interview review complete will be returning product to the shelf soon. Now, right here it said that the gun law requires all licensed firearm dealers to keep a legible entry in a physical or electronic record of every farm and ammunition sale, rental, lease, or transfer of ownership. Record must be open at all times to the inspection of the police, including the complete description of the firearm or ammunition that is transferred, including the mate, serial number, type of phone, if a gun is included in the transaction according to law. The license permit or car identification number of the person acquiring the form or ammunition along with the sex, address, occupation, and name must also be included in the entry alongside the type of transaction um, the text of the law says. Now, most retailers outside the Lawrence Corporation, like Walmart, are still confused about the ammo and firearm transaction record-keeping requirements outlined in the law. Now, Executive Director Gun Ownership Action League, the local National Rights Association affiliate, he said the state agency has still not issued official guidance on how to properly keep records of firearm transactions retailers have been left to enter uh, interpret the complete language. Oh, interpret the complete language on their own. Some retailers are using just a notepad. Others have just created their own form, thinking and hoping that it would comply, he told the Herald. So it goes right along with everything else here that there's zero guidance coming from the state on how to comply. So I just wanted to read that to you. Uh, with this situation with Walmart and Massachusetts. Some of these states are just, this is intentionally, they're making it complicated. And you see a lot of these companies pull ammo from the shells and all this kind of stuff. You see how they want, they, they just, just to boggle up the system when it comes to your ammo and farm people. This is a prime example, especially Massachusetts people. So uh, let me know what you think about that article and everything. But this is crazy. This is the type of stuff that they're doing. So um, I'm not going to keep too long on this video. But this is DC Channel Guns. I catch you on the next one. This is DC Channel Guns. Like and subscribe. Thank you for watching.